killed my brother, you cowardly son of a bitch. Gunned him down when he wasn't hardly looking. Now, I can cut you a little slack, grieving as you are, but the fact is, Buster Scruggs don't shoot nobody in the back. And that sorry sack of bones was more in the nature of a suicide. You're Buster Scruggs? The West Texas twit? I assume you meant West Texas tit. On account of that particular bird's mellifluous warble. Ah, how's it going, Rackle viewers? Grim Gaddy right back into another Legends of the West video, and the Grim pick this time is something that, uh, well, as you're about to see here, has been thoroughly requested the crap out of, to the point where I'm actually shocked it never actually won. Now, granted, I haven't seen a request for it lately. That doesn't mean I don't remember it very fondly. Also, because I recently had watched it when the request started, and I was like, you know, I, I might be able to pull something that like that off. Kind of happy I waited now because I had a lot more options to play with. So, without further ado, let's show off Buster Scruggs, shall we? <laughs> ah, lordy. And of course, eh, this is just kind of my opinion of how I think it really should go for the outfit. But without further ado, let's break down the outfit piece by piece, starting off with the hat. And we got a new one gracing us currently. The Caldwell hat. I chose it for two primary reasons. One, it's pretty much the biggest hat available to us, and two, it comes in the purest white I have seen in the game. But of course there are other options available, really the only thing you need to really hit is, needs to have, it, it just needs to be huge. Like honestly, if the candy hat came in a nice white, I'd say it would do perfectly. Other than the fact the front of the brim's kind of tucked down like that and it's not in a pure white, you know? But that's kind of the rule of thumb with that. Big ol' hat, it has to be white. No eyewear with this outfit, no mask, no bandanas, yada yada yada. Neckwear. We want the narrow neckerchief. And I'm kind of sad because unlike in the single player when, spoiler alert, we play as John Marston, we actually get the one that goes around the neck and not actually in the collar, which would have been perfect for this. I'm really sad they never transferred that over for whatever bloody reason Rockstar thought was a good idea. But it sells the part. It, it works. No coats with this outfit, no ponchos, no vests, and finally for shirts. I dance around with a couple of options. The French dress shirt has some nice designs to it. It comes in a pretty clean, crisp look, and actually the colors really sync up really well with the rest of the outfit. Like, oh, honestly. Really want to. The French dress shirt definitely works wonders. But I personally went with the everyday shirt in just a plain white. Because while Buster Scruggs does have some interesting uh, wardrobe choices, like stupidly fine wardrobe choices. It has a kind of black highlight here and there on his shirt. It's not really enough for me to really just go completely with the French dress shirt. So everyday shirt and white. But I'm not gonna doubt you all for going for the French dress. No suspenders to this outfit, no gauntlets, no gloves, no rings, no belts, buckles, completely dealer's choice. Weapon equipment. Now, here's something I don't do very often. There actually, amongst the gun belts, is a selection that kind of works for his. Now, that's a sharpshooter gun belt. Now, while the offhand holster, I don't know why, doesn't actually have the brass tacking on it like its cousin over there on the hip, this still works. Really wish we could just remove that, preferably without glitching out the game. Moving on to pants, I frankly just went with the Bandito pants. They come in a nice kind of tan cream color that I really needed for the outfit. Really the only thing that sold it for me. That was the first option I came across. Going on to chaps, batwing chaps in the lightest tan you can get for it. For boots, eh, honestly, this is kind of mostly dealer's choice. I'm having trouble actually seeing too many scenes where I can actually clearly see his boots. Honestly, I felt the gaiters worked. I mostly say that because it comes in a color that, again, works with the rest of the outfit. And uh, spurs, yeah, completely dealer's choice. I, I can't see enough to even recommend spurs. I can't equip them on gaiters anyway. So, again, 
completely the hero's choice. That all said, that's it for this outfit. Ah, I really hope a lot of those people that were originally requesting this are still watching this stuff because it's definitely way late, but I finally gave you all Buster Scruggs. Or at least my interpretation of it. That man plays Grand Theft Auto. I can tell that from his poncho. I play this game way too freaking much. Anyway, as usual though, I hope you all enjoyed. If y'all did enjoy, great way of showing your support is by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, share it with your friends. Ugh. Ugh. I don't really got much else. Actually, you know what? For those that actually watched the end of my videos, you guys really are the truly most radical of my viewers. And a small announcement. Breakpoint's a little delayed just because I'm having trouble finding time to actually get the videos actually edited and recorded and all that. I do have a start of a Call of Duty Modern Warfare playthrough, though, that I might be throwing up here sooner or later. So, hey, if you're all actually enjoying some of the tactical shooter stuff I've been doing, I look forward to that in the future. Not quite sure when, though. I don't really have a schedule for that bit yet. But anyway, once again, thank you all for watching. Till next time, kids. Take care now. Bye bye then.